So if we take a look at this particular problem, when we solve, we want to get the variables together, we want to get the numbers together. So we're going to start with the variables, which are the x term, and we're going to subtract 14x from both sides. 20 minus 14 is 6x, minus 10 is 38. Well, now that we've got that, then we need to move the 10 to the other side. So we're going to add 10 to both sides, and we'll get 6x, which is 48. Finally, we're going to divide both sides by 6. And what we do? X equals 8. Problem number two. What we need to notice when we're solving these equations is that we have like terms on the left side of the equals. So we want to combine our like terms first and foremost. 7x times 5x is 2x. Oh. And not only do we have like terms of the x's, but we also have like terms with negative 15 plus 3. Now, if negatives give you trouble, remember, type them into Desmos. Negative 15 plus 3 is negative 12. And over here on the right side, we still have x plus 9. And now what we want to do, we want to move the x over to the other side. If you need a reminder, it's 1x. And we get 2x minus 1x is 1x minus 12 equals 9. And now we can finish this problem because we moved the variable to the left. We're now going to move the 12, the number, to the right side. And undoing the subtraction, we'll get x equals 21. And there's our answer to the problem. But those should have been review for you. And I hope they were review for you. But it's the final two examples that need a little bit more time spent. And this is similar to what was on the quiz. This is one of those problems that was similar to one of your quiz questions that caused some trouble. And the thing is, Part of it is that there's fractions on here. Well, what do we do when we see a fraction? Well, what we can do is we can multiply these two bottom numbers together. In this particular case, it is 6, and use that to help us. We can now multiply this side of the equation by 6, as well as the other side of the equation by 6. And the reason that I multiplied by 6 is because 2 times 3 is 6. So what this happens, or what happens then is, this becomes 6 times 3x plus 1 all over 2. And on the other side, this becomes 4 thirds times 6. And in a moment, even though I'm not going to show it on the video, I am going to type in 4 thirds times 6 in Desmos. But what also happens is that 6 divided by 2 simplifies. Again, if you don't know what that is, then you type it into Desmos. 6 divided by 2 is 3 tenths. And we still have the 3x plus 1 in parentheses. On the other side here, 4 thirds times 6. I'm going to pause the video, type it into Desmos to get the answer. 4 thirds times 6 is 8. And now we can solve this equation. We have parentheses in here, so we need to use distributive property. 3 
becomes 3 actually? 9. X. 3 times 1 is 3. This is 8. So we don't have any like terms, but we can solve. Our ultimate goal is to figure out, well, what does X equal? So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. We get 9X. Plus 5. And then we can finish. 9 times x divided by 7 by 9. x equals 5 ninths. You do not need to type that into Desmos. It's a repeating decimal. We're better off with 5 ninths. As we finish, x minus 2 divided by 4 equals x plus 1 over 8. I don't think this is the same problem as the quiz, but it's darn similar. And the thing is, can we find the common denominator? Now, on the last problem, we had 2 and 3 in the bottom of the fraction. The only thing that we could do is multiply them together. If we multiply 4 times 8 and get 32, we can use that for our common denominator. But is there a smaller value? And what we can ask ourselves is, will 4 go into 8 evenly? And it does. And because it does, what we can then do is we can multiply this side of the equation by 8 and this side of the equation by 8. Again, if you use 32, it's still going to work. It'll be a little bit more work. But this will still get you through where you need to go. So what we have now is we have 8 times x minus 2 divided by 4. And over here we have x plus 1 times 8 divided by 8. And then... We're going to divide those. We're going to divide those. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1. And then we'll distribute. Here and here. 2 times x is 2x, so 2 is 4. 1 times x, 1 times 1. By the way, there's nothing wrong with you writing a 1 in front of there. 1 times x, 1 times 1. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out, well, what does x equal? So when we come over here, to finish this problem, we're going to start by subtracting 1x from both sides. And when we do, 2x minus 1x is 1x, minus 4 equals 1. And we moved the letter to the left. We moved our variable to the left in this case. Now let's move our number to the right. So we get x plus 5. 